in a sea of web designers and flashy websites, trying to make your website stand out is quite the task. But recently, 3D has started to become more and more popular in the web design scene. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily level up your web design in Framer using 3D shapes just like this. So without further ado, my name is Hamza and let's get straight into it. So the first thing that we need to achieve this is obviously some 3D shapes. Some amazing places to get some really high quality and premium 3D shapes include websites like creativemarket.com, UI8.net and a newcomer in the scene, items.design. These websites have huge collections of 3D shapes in different styles and from pretty much any use case that you can imagine. Once you've downloaded your 3D shapes, they usually come as transparent PNGs and are often already web optimized, so they're ready to be added to your website straight away. So in this example, we'll be working with this landing page from my upcoming website, builtinframer.com. What we're looking to achieve is a page like this, with the shapes floating around the main content in the middle and with various blur, loop and drag effects. So to get started, let's simply drag our shapes onto the canvas like so. Next, drag the shapes onto the page and change the position to absolute. This will allow us to position the shapes freely on the page. Then, let's adjust the sizing and rotation and place it where we want and repeat with the rest of the shapes. And already that's looking great, but let's take it up a notch. A great way to add some perspective is by adding a blur effect to some of the shapes. This creates the illusion of the shapes being further away or behind an object. In order to add the blur effect, let's select one of the shapes, head over to styles and under filters, click blur. And that adds a blur effect to the shape, but let's increase the value from the default five to eight so that it makes it a little bit more blurry. And again, simply repeat this step for any of the shapes that you want to blur. And that is looking really good already. Next, another great way to add some interactivity to your website is by adding a drag effect to your shapes. And Framer makes it super easy to add this effect. Simply hold shift and select all of your shapes, head over to effects and select drag. And the default settings are perfectly fine. And just like that, your shapes have this really cool drag effect. Next, to make the website feel a little bit more alive, let's add a subtle continuous motion using the loop effect in Framer. Again, hold shift and select all of your shapes, head over to effects and click on loop. Then let's change the type to mirror, set the rotation back to zero and add an ease in out transition with a time of five seconds. Then one by one, change the rotation and offset values for each shape. Make the values slightly different for each shape so that they all move in different directions so that it feels a little bit more natural. And then you should end up with a really subtle continuous motion just like this. And of course, feel free to play around with the values if you want a little bit more of an obvious effect. And then finally, let's add an appear effect to the shape so that when the page loads, they smoothly load in one by one to create a really nice effect. Once again, hold shift and select all of your shapes, head over to effects and click appear. Then let's click on effect and change scale to zero so that everything is on zero. Then head over to transition and adjust the stiffness to 200 and the damping to 50. This will create a really smooth animation, but feel free to tweak these to your liking. Then finally, for each shape, add a slightly different delay so that they come in one after the other. For example, on the first shape, we'll add a 0.2 second delay. And then on the next shape, we'll add a 0.4 second delay and so on and so forth. Once you've done that, you should end up with something that looks like this. And just like that, you've added fully interactive 3D shapes to your website in Framer in a matter of minutes. Like I mentioned, using 3D assets like these can really take your web design to the next level and is a great way of giving your website a modern feel. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if it brought you any value whatsoever, I would really appreciate a like and a comment. And if you're interested in more content just like this, please consider subscribing. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter for even more content. But for now, that's all from me and I'll see you in the next one.